Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with exercise 2b of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics, and at the moment we're on page number 48. So just to read this out, uh, question 3 states, a car travelling in a straight line accelerates uniformly from rest with a constant acceleration of 2 meters per second to a maximum speed of 30 meter, or 2 meters per second squared to a maximum of speed of 30 meters per second. It drives at a constant speed for 12 seconds and it decelerates. And you're asked to find the usual unknowns. So let's go about doing this. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sketch it as normal. So we have our y-axis and our x-axis. On our y, we're going to sketch speed at units of meters per second. And on the x-axis, we're going to sketch time of units seconds. So we're told that it travels in a straight line and uh, it travels from from rest. So time t is equal to zero, the velocity or the speed is equal to zero. So what we do is we just sketch that in as normal. Uh, I'll draw that in black. So we have t is equal to zero and it's there. It accelerates to maximum speed of 30 meters per second. So I'm going to say that this here is 30. There's 30 meters per second. So, one sec there now, just give me a moment, arrange my, my biros. So, after 30 seconds, it is at a speed of, um, sorry, maximum speed of, that's, we don't know what that is. That's time t, maximum speed of 30 meters per second, like that. So, time t, we can, we can construct that point here. We know that the acceleration is uniform, therefore we can connect the two points with a straight line like that. If, they weren't, if it wasn't uniform, it could have been a curve or some other form, which we wouldn't know. But because it's constant acceleration, we can say that it's straight like that. Next, we're told that it drives at a constant speed for 12 seconds. So we know that at t plus 12, it is up until that point, it, it travels at the same speed of 30 meters per second. So once again, we mark our point on our graph like that. The speed is the same, so it doesn't go up or down. So that's a horizontal line in comparison with the x-axis, like that. And then it decelerates uh, to rest in a further 10 seconds. So we'll say at a time of t plus 22, because it's a further 10 seconds from t plus 12. So it took t seconds to get to here, or a speed of 30 meters per second. It took an additional 12 at the same speed and an additional 10 to get down to rest so we will put down our point here at rest and connect it like that I know it doesn't look correct but I, or it doesn't look graphed too well we shall do the usual of make our, our little um, make our little shapes we'll say rectangles and triangles and so on so what are we told anything else we're told let me see now does that in 10 seconds. Yes, okay, so we're defined the acceleration, distance covered, the deceleration, and so on. Now, um, you notice what? I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this like we normally do with the UVAST formula. I have something else I'd like to try uh, in a moment, which is to do with angles, but we'll, we'll do this for the moment. So, for UVAST, what do we know? We know the initial, initial speed was zero. We know the final speed, we'll say, call this area 1, area 2, area 3. And for area 1 we're dealing with. The final speed was 30. The acceleration we're given was 2 meters per second squared. Now notice it's plus 2 because it is accelerating. In other words, that um, V1 is less than V2. That's how you know it's accelerating. The acceleration was 2, the distance is unknown, that the time is unknown like that. So let's look at our formula as normal and see which ones we can use. So I'm going to try V is equal to U plus AT. This is known, this is known, and the two of those are unknown. Uh, sorry, this is known as well. So the only unknown is T. As a result, this formula will work. So we say 30 is equal to 0 plus 2t, 2t two two is equal to 30, t is equal to 15 seconds. 
All right, that's nothing new. So the next thing, to, of course, to do is to get the distance. So the one I usually use for this is S is equal to U plus V over 2 times the time. All these quantities are known, so we can use that. So S is equal to 30 plus 0 over 2 times 15, so that's 15 squared. And to be honest, off the top of my head, I don't know that. 225 meters. It's a distance, so its unit is meters. Like that. I'm sure this is, this is the exact same procedure as we've done so far on uh, the other questions in this exercise. And indeed for exercise, uh, exercise 2A. So we're going to do region 2. Same, same procedure, U, V, A, S, T. Now, what do we know here? We knew, by the way, that this was equal to 225. Remember, the area underneath the curve is equal to or equivalent to the distance. So we, in, in, in region 1, it was just this triangle, so its area is equal to 225. And we knew, of course, that it's time. We knew, and I've dropped the wire off just one second, and I pick it up. We know that this time is equal to 15 seconds. So, we know that for region 2, its initial speed is the final speed for region 1, which was 30 meters per second. We know that its acceleration is 0. Why do we know that? If V1, we'll say, at, uh, we'll say call that time T, and uh, T2 is another time, or T1, we'll say, is another time. If we say that T1 is greater than T, in other words, that this is a later time, if the corresponding velocity is equal, then of course it's not accelerating, and the A is equal to 0 meters per second squared. However, of course, if T2, or T1, sorry, uh, was greater than T2, excuse me, I'll say that again, if T1 is greater than T, in other words, this is these times after, and we had the following, we had that V2 was greater, then A would be positive, and if it was less than, well, we know that A would be negative, like that. Okay, so in this case, at a later time, the speeds are less, so it's clearly decelerating. Anyway, the scenario we have is that A is equal to 0, and this is 30 as a result. The final speed is equal to 30. The distance we're not given, but we're told that the time taken is 12 seconds. So... We'll use the same distance formula as normal, like that. So it's 60 over 2 times 12, so 30 times 12, so that's 360 meters. All right, so we'll... I said 360 meters. This point was 15 plus 12, so that's uh, 27. I knew this one here was a further 10 seconds, so that's time t is equal to 37 seconds. So region 2 was quite simple. So we'll do region 3 finally. We know at this stage that there is a deceleration. It doesn't say what it is, so we'll say that's just a. We know the initial velocity is equal to the final velocity for region 2 which is 30 meters per second. We know that it accelerates or decelerates to rest. We don't know the distance, but we know the time spent is equal to 10 seconds. Now, the 10 seconds, remember this area, this region here, its time is equal to 10 seconds. And in the total time it has taken from starting is 37 seconds to finish. So once again, we do the exact same thing as normal. We say V is equal to U plus AT. If you look at this, the only thing we don't know in this case is the acceleration. Therefore, this formula will do. So we know that 0 is equal to 30 plus 10, uh, 10a. So we know that a is equal to negative 3 meters per second minus 2, like that. So that's negative 3. Okay. And if we go for the distance, this is something we're well used to. U plus V over 2 times T is equal to 30 over 2 times 10. 
you get a 150 meters like that. So we know that the, re the area underneath this curve is 150 meters. And we know the deceleration is negative 3. We know that the acceleration here is equal to 0 and it's positive 2 over here like that. Okay, so that's every piece of information we've, we can do so far. Um, and let's check to see if we've got this in the back of the book. So time spent accelerating was 15 seconds. Is that correct? One second, let's have to go to the back of the book. Hello? Hello? Yeah? Is No, I'm doing videos. I'm actually in the middle of one, but fuck it, go on. Go on. <laughs> Sorry. I love to edit it, go on. Um, I'm going to Dunn's, you don't have to get stuff for Wednesday. No, I'm on ration back. Three, two, two sets of ration backs. I'm going to get baby wipes around here. Batteries. Can you give me five minutes? Yeah, go yeah. on, I'll bother. Yeah, just give me five minutes to finish off this fucking thing. Blah! Beans are cut. Where the fuck was I? Oh, balls. Okay, I'm going to continue on now. Okay, so 15 seconds spent accelerating is correct. Uh, 735 meters. So let's see the total distance will be the sum of these three here. So it's 225 plus 360 plus 150. That gives 735 is correct. And given the deceleration of negative 3 meters per second squared. So that question is correct. Oh. My bio doesn't seem to be working. Negative three. That is correct. So uh, that's question three done. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and pass it on to your friends.